Canto Six The Kingdoms and Godheads of the Greater Life Ever he felt near a spirit in her forms Its passive presence was her nature's strength this soul is real in apparent things. Even upon earth, the spirit is life's key. But her solid outsides nowhere bear its trace. Its stamp on her acts is undiscoverable. A pathos of lost heights is its appeal. Only sometimes is caught a shadowy line that seems a hint of veiled reality. Life stared at him with vague, confused outlines offering a picture the eyes could not keep, a story that was yet not written there. As in a fragmentary, half-lost design, life's meanings fled from the pursuing eye. Life's visage hides life's real self from sight. Life's secret sense is written within, above. The thought that gives it sense lives far beyond. It is not seen in its half-finished design. In vain we hope to read the baffling signs or find the word of the half-played charade. Only in that greater life a cryptic thought is found, is hinted some interpreting word that makes the earth myth a tale intelligible. Something was seen at last that looked like truth. In a half-lit air of hazardous mystery, the eye that looks at the dark half of truth made out an image made a vivid blur and peering through a mist of subtle tints he saw a half-blind chained divinity bewildered by the world in which he moved yet conscious of some light prompting his soul Attracted to strange, far-off shimmerings, Led by the fluting of a distant player, He sought his way amid life's laughter and call, And the index chaos of her myriad steps, Towards some total deep infinitude. Around crowded the forest of her signs. At hazard he read by arrow leaps of thought that hit the mark by guess or luminous chance. Her changing coloured road lights of idea and her signals of uncertain swift event the hieroglyphs of her symbol pageantries 
and her landmarks in the tangled paths of time. In her mazes of approach and of retreat, to every side she draws him and repels, but drawn too near, escapes from his embrace. All ways she leads him, but no way is sure. Allured by the many-toned marvel of her chant, attracted by the witchcraft of her moods, and moved by her casual touch to joy and grief, he loses himself in her but wins her not. A fugitive paradise smiles at him from her eyes. He dreams of her beauty made forever his. He dreams of his mastery her limbs shall bear. He dreams of the magic of her breasts of bliss. In her illumined script, her fanciful translation of God's pure original text, he thinks to read the scripture wonderful, hieratic key to unknown beatitudes. But the word of life is hidden in its script. The chant of life has lost its divine note. Unseen, a captive in a house of sound, the spirit, lost in the splendor of a dream, listens to a thousand-voiced illusions old. A delicate weft of sorcery steals the heart, or a fiery magic tints her tones and hues, yet they but wake a thrill of transient grace. A vagrant march struck by the wanderer time. They call to a brief, unsatisfied delight or wallow in ravishments of mind and sense but miss the luminous answer of the soul. A blind heart throb that reaches joy through tears. A yearning towards peaks forever unreached. An ecstasy of unfulfilled desire. Track the last heavenward climbings of her voice. Transmuted are past sufferings memories into an old sadness's sweet escaping trail. Turned are her tears to gems of diamond pain. Her sorrow into a magic crown of song. Brief are her snatches of felicity that touch the surface, then escape or die. A lost remembrance echoes in her depths. A deathless longing is hers. A veiled self's call. A prisoner in the mortal's limiting world. 
A spirit wounded by life sobs in her breast. A cherished suffering is her deepest cry. A wanderer on forlorn, despairing roots, along the roads of sound, a frustrate voice forsaken cries to a forgotten bliss. Astray in the echo caverns of desire, it guards the phantoms of a soul's dead hopes and keeps alive the voice of perished things or lingers upon sweet and errant notes hunting for pleasure in the heart of pain. A fateful hand has touched the cosmic chords and the intrusion of a troubled strain covers the inner music's hidden key that guides unheard the surface cadences. Yet is it joy to live and to create, and joy to love and labor, though all fails, and joy to seek, though all we find deceives, and all on which we lean betrays our trust. Yet something in its depths was worth the pain. A passionate memory haunts with ecstasy's fire. Even grief has joy hidden beneath its roots. For nothing is truly vain the one has made. In our defeated hearts, God's strength survives, and victory's star still lights our desperate road. Our death is made a passage to new worlds. This, to life's music, gives its anthem swell. To all she lends the glory of her voice. Heaven's raptures whisper to her heart and pass. Earth's transient yearnings cry from her lips and fade. Alone the God-given him escapes her art that came with her from her spiritual home but stopped halfway and failed. A silent word awake in some deep pause of waiting worlds. A murmur suspended in eternity's hush, but no breath comes from the supernal peace. A sumptuous interlude occupies the ear, and the heart listens, and the soul consents. An evanescent music it repeats, wasting on transience, time's eternity. 
a tremolo of the voices of the hours, oblivious screens the high intended theme the self-embodying spirit came to play on the vast clavichord of nature force. Only a mighty murmur here and there of the eternal word, the blissful voice, or beauty's touch transfiguring heart and sense, a wandering splendor and a mystic cry recalls the strength and sweetness heard no more.